Yo, what's up, my peoples? AKA my A list is ADG, AKA the Gamer. Welcome back to ADG Entertainment for another ADG Plays for the first time. Today, we're getting a death in request too. Curtis some of my homeboys over there. I did Factory and the homegirls over there too. So, without a doubt, let's go ahead and cue that TV Tokyo intro. Yeet! Ladies and gentlemen, it is about to go down. Now, if you're not familiar with Death in Request, the series gained a lot of popularity about a year or two back. And here we are now already with another game, a sequel. Now, this game will have, from my understanding, some appearances from the past characters, but you will see a lot of new characters. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I covered this game a little bit less than I did the original Death and Request on the road up to launch. But, the reason why I did it is because I didn't want to really like, you know, like, spoil myself too much. I wanted some surprises. Also, I didn't do it because I hadn't finished Death in Request, the original game. Now, I'm venturing into this with at least, I'm going to say, 8 to 10 hours knowledge of the first Death in Request. And I'm like, wow, that much? That's how these JRPGs roll, bro. You're going to get hours and hours of gameplay. Something to consider. Both games out now. I'm going to check out my options real quick. So we're going to start up a normal game. <sighs> Today, the start of another worthless day. A worthless day? I get up in the morning and I eat. The sun rises and I eat. The sun sets and I eat. That's how I feel like myself a lot of times. Like, that's what I do. Just... Eat, sleep, repeat. The morning returns. Take care of my kids, repeat. Bringing with it the same day. He sounds depressed. Hey! What the hell is this? <laughs> Dad's drunk again. Another day, another disappointment. Oh, but there's an alcoholic. Every day might have felt worthless, but I took silver linings where I could find them. At least he was decent enough to give me a smartphone and a laptop. <laughs> phone and a laptop would go a long way to change her life. World, I dove inward, becoming obsessed with whatever I could find online. rage people who say home is where the heart is never had a family like mine mm -mm -mm. only one thing gave me solace without telling my business I can kind of relate it ain't the same type of story but I can kind of relate the occasional text to me by my younger sister Sinaye she lived with our mother and from what I gathered, it was a warm life. That alone was enough to chew on. It's a classic uh, Death and Request song you guys are hearing right now. But I stopped getting texts from her a year ago. You trying to make a fool out of me too? First that woman, now everyone else! So... 
from my remembrance, Sine is in the first game. Okay. How can I go? My drunken father picked up a hatchet from the floor and approached me. So, this is contempt. A look communicated without a single shred of love. I was going to be killed by my father. I don't care. Not anymore. I wouldn't have to suffer anymore. So it's fine. I wouldn't have to stuff anything in my mouth. But I had one parting wish. This is dark. I know it's getting dark already. That's the things about these games. A lot of people look at the cover, they see these cute little girls or whatever, and they're not even really good. Little <laughs> girls, they're teenage girls. And you don't realize how dark some of these games get. You know about Persona and how dark they get. This game gets dark as well. A lot of it's about missing girls. Things like that, these questionable stories surrounding these girls. Let's keep going. I wanted to visit Enigma, a place I had only seen online. Enigma is pretty much uh -huh. an online game. Don't even look me in the eye. You're a dirty whore of a daughter. From an online game, basically. Oh my god, why you had to call her that? Two girls born to a shitty mother. No surprise they're both shitty too, huh? You don't belong here. You're both shit. Stop it. Huh? Look in her eyes. I'm out of find my thumbnails, my people. Hey. My father froze in terror. I stood on top of his stomach, lifting the hatchet in my hand. Hey! It turned into she didn't mind dying. But she didn't mind killing either. All right. pretty decent and most of all I'm a gamer I love games I love JRPGs if this is good JRPGs I'm gonna tell you right down to the 
pinpoint on what makes it a good JRPG. Visuals presentation already on point. We can turn back up a little bit now. We can turn it back up a little bit. I was dehydrated, on the verge of death. If not for the social worker who discovered me, I would have died. It seemed one of my poor neighbors heard my desperate screams and reported it to the authorities. Only then was I found. So the question was, was it straight protection or what? Maybe she was just protecting herself. Although there was no denying I killed my father. Based oh, no denying it. The court saw what I did as an act of self-defense. But they said it anyway. <laughs> really? I was ordered to undergo counseling for three months. Afterwards, I was dismissed from the facility, absolved of my sins. Not that it made the consequences any easier. That man's final moments will haunt me forever. Sure it will. When I close my eyes, I relive the moment. I pray every day for his ghost to leave me. Probably won't. That brings us to January 2nd. The air was thick with fog, making it difficult to see anything from a distance in this old town. I sat in the back of the black town car, which was stopped in front of a tall, pearly building in the center of town. Surrounding the town, was a lush smattering of trees and a vast lake. I felt a warm breeze brush against my cheek as I exited the car. If I squinted hard enough, I could make out mountains standing atop the horizon to the north of town. It was misty here year round. So 12 minutes in the video, I know you guys are wondering when we're gonna get to a gameplay moment. So I'm not sure. Sure is cursed. My first time. Could be the eternal mist. Could be the creepy aura permeating throughout. This may seem like a silly question, but for the sake of formality, I'll ask. Are you my Toyama? That's right. I am my We're a fair association. <laughs> okay, verified. My from today on, Wordsworth will be your new home. What happened with your father? I mean, that man was a terrible incident. You did nothing wrong. So please, please, don't worry. My, you're so strong. You did what you had to. You're allowed to be happy. Thank you. Now, no. let's head inside. Headmistress Midra awaits you. Hey, she got a mistress? Okay. Welcome, Ma. I am Midra. Headmistress to Wordsworth, the All Girls Dormitory. Hello. All Girls Dormitory? Personally, I find orphanage to be an unsavory signifier. Our institution prides itself as an academy and a dorm together. There is no distinction between students with or without family. Indeed. Point well taken. Mitra, as I mentioned to you before, this girl here has had something of a tough year. She's moving on well, and she's honest. He said something of a tough year. Come on, yo. Let's be sure to give her a big. <laughs> the girl had a real tough celebrate year. Celebrate her enrollment. Welcome, my. We've had many girls like you overcome their childhoods by working hard and supporting one another in harmony. Yeah, many girls just like you. Trust in our staff. Invest in yourself. Find your wings, little butterfly. Did she just say little butterfly? This world on your own. Women who triumph over all odds are the ones who make a difference. I have many high hopes for you, Mai. In any case, for what reason did you choose our remote town and our esteemed dorm to further your education? He didn't choose, they chose for her. I was the one who reached out to her after my requested to come here. See? Know what I'm saying? 
Because I heard Sanae was here. Please, let me see her. Sanae? She's my little Hello. sister. She's here, right? right? Let me see her! My, no. no. Please, Please, calm, calm down. down. Hurry, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? I'm, I'm telling, telling you to take me to her! her. Mai? Okay, Mai. Calm, calm down. down. Take a deep breath. When Mai's parents divorced, they decided the following. That Mai's father would take Mai, and that her mother would take Sanae. The two girls lived apart since the split. Because of her father's passing, we attempted to locate her mother to see if Mai could be reunited with her family. After some investigation, we learned that her mother had passed as well. It was her mother's wish for Sanae to be sent to Wordsworth, or so it says on her dossier, which explains why Mai, too, had requested to be transferred here. Poor girl. God has presented you with such fearsome challenges because he knew you were tenacious enough to overcome them. Huh? There must be some mix-up with your documents. Sanae hmm? Toyama does not exist in our records. She never has. Interesting. What? Calm yourself, Mai. It is unladylike to let yourself become flustered. No doubt your travels have been long. Go on to your room and rest. We will assess the situation with Sanae tomorrow. Please, I assure you that I will assist her in reviewing our records once more. <sighs> Hello there! Ma'am, I'll be the one to carry your bags. Oh, salutations, Mai. Allow me to introduce myself as the head maid, here to help everyone in our dorm. My name is head maid Shizu, Shizu Malonis. Nice to meet you. All right. Sure. <laughs> Very interesting uh, set of events leading up to, you know, leading into this opening game. I'm tired. One thing I am looking forward to when we get to the gameplay is seeing how much they approved uh, the not bag system. It was a system that was different about different requests where you can just kind of like knock your enemies around the map, send them into like a ping pong type of style ping pong. So I'm looking forward to see what they've done with that. Been so long. Been so long. Oh. That moment my finger just hit the R and <laughs> the I hit the button. It's been so long. My mistake, my peoples. Fell asleep. Oh, that's the girl Mama told me about. Who is this? This must be a little girl. <laughs> She's a cutie. She's knocked out. <laughs> okay. So this little precious little thing was probably in her twenties. <laughs> it's just the way they be drawing things. Uh, in you know Japan, you know, one reason is because their women don't really age like women in America. They have women who may look like they're young, but they're not. Okay, so that will take us into January third. Once again, that part just now, I hit the button. It fast forward the scene. Like it do in most Japanese game of visual novels. So that's what happened there. Where am I?
Oh my god, this girl just scratched her butt. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Breakfast starts at nine. I see you there. Uh, I have a roommate. I'm just great. What's else drain mean? What is it? A prayer? Maybe it is a prayer. I'm going to search for hints about Sanai's whereabouts. I guess I could explore the dorm until breakfast. Okay, now they explain to you about midday. At this time of day, you can talk to students in the Woodsworth Women's Dormitory. Choose the location on the map and interact with the dormitory students. The interactions you have may affect the outcome of the story. Let's begin this event in the hallway for the women's second floor dormitory. Hey, you're the new girl. Stay right there! Look at the new girl, everyone. I'm Vina Miles. Hopefully my surname rings a bell for you. You can call me your senior. The senior, a small girl in the center, raised her cross arms. Meet Molly and Pip. Two girls who've surrendered to my charisma, who now go out of their way. Well, her name is Pig. So it is what it is. <laughs> Sounds stupid. What? You say something? Oh, it's about to go down. I'm right. Say, do any of you know a girl named Sanayi? I'm the one asking questions here. <laughs> I don't know. Never heard of her. Idiots! Don't answer her! <laughs> <laughs> what a... Hey, new girl. I've got some trash that needs dumping. Why don't you do it for me? Yo, why you even gotta go there, number one? I hope you get yours, your little smart mouth. Little short girl talking on that trash about trash. Not my job. It wasn't that much shorter than she was. <laughs> oh, is that sass I detect? Someone, Someone wants, wants to take a dip. Is that ass I detect? If someone wants to take a... A fist? A fist? Yeah! Oh man, it jumped up. <laughs> they had to treat the new girl like that and here's the funny thing in real life really this kind of thing really doesn't go down like this it's kind of like sometimes it does but it doesn't really go off like as much as it does in like entertainment and movies and you know things like that you see the new girl always having a hard time but that doesn't always sometimes the new girl or the new guy i mean oh you get treated pretty good going to a different school usually want I'm all ears why bother doing all of this because <laughs> it's fun duh what a brat why isn't she crying make her cry ladies how about we dump the bucket on her <laughs> whoa that's cruel <laughs> yeah y'all got some problems here's some dirty mop water hope you're thirsty mine are you gonna beg for mercy? Okay, time's up. <laughs> You're real stubborn. Speak up. Did that break you? Hope you know now who the law is around here. Girl, you ain't the law. You just a little short thing with an attitude that could get dealt with at any given time. Wow, all this effort and not a peep from 
from her. You ain't, you ain't, she tough. You ain't fading that girl. You might want to be careful. She mother her father. Just imagine what she'll do to you. <laughs> Sweet, but I'm very sour. I can say that's true. <laughs> Look at you. So pathetic you couldn't hurt a fly. You don't know nothing about this chick. <laughs> Seriously. You know, I even killed a pigeon that our class kept as a pet. Ooh! Somehow you even killed your father. <laughs> there were blood and guts everywhere. Everyone cried like a bunch of babies. <laughs> Listen up, Mai. Get me mad enough and I can do the same to a person. I'm not like he. Is that so? <laughs> scaredy cat! She's a scaredy cat! Think you could kill me? Do you really? What's your problem? Don't get any closer! Could you kill me? What is your problem? Oh, you asked for it. Now she's about to go ham on you, girl. Take my advice. Your bite better live up to your bark. Otherwise, you'll look like a moron. Uh, you, you're not getting away with this! What? Talking smack back to you? What are you talking about? You two! Let's take her outside and pin her to the ground. Maybe we'll have to cut off those pretty locks of hers. Oh, man. I think this might go about to go sideways. So she got them scissors. Hey! Look at the cry baby! Do it! <laughs> Do it! Cut her ears while you're at it! It's almost breakfast time. Do you think the teachers might catch us? Who cares? This rut pisses me off. <laughs> Chop off that beautiful head of hair. I won't stop even if you beg. Stop. I have sentenced you to execution. There's no turning back now. I said stop. She about the ghost. There. Now she can scream. <laughs> Serves her right. Okay, everyone. Say bye bye to my hair. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. There it is. That's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Mina, you're at it again. You better stop or I'll tell my mother. It's Roddy. Crap. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Honestly, is that what it proceeded on? I don't know. Oh my, might have got them. She might have took them scissors for them, and Lord knows what that would have happened. You know what I mean? Are you okay? Here, take my handkerchief. They always bully the new girl. They're jerks. Oh, a handkerchief won't be enough. Let me walk you to the showers. Come with me. Name's Rotten. Rotten Dollhart. You can call me Rotty, though. Let's be friends. She just won't Thank work. you, I guess. Okay, she's still there. But I'm finally home. What? <laughs> she's not just cute, strong too. <laughs> Interesting scenario in the cafeteria. I did hear this game was gonna have a little bit more uh, visual novelty to it than the other game. But if you want to, from this point, you could save some of your game or return to the title. By the way, check out my official article for this. And, um, just trying to go back to the event. Right now, you can see there's only one event on the first floor, and that's in the cafeteria. Let's begin this event.
But there is gameplay. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to stop this game until we get to the gameplay portion. If the video gets to be a little bit too long, I will probably then split it. But I'll do another video to show you guys gameplay. Also, I have gameplay trailers out there. You can check those out too. They're also available on the channel and at thegamer.com. the faculty and the students all eat together Tom student you must be the new girl I'm Abigail Williams I'm the resident advisor around here Tom student ain't Abigail that is I suppose in a regular school my role would be something akin to a class president if you ever need anything I'd be happy to advise nice to meet you Look right as rain, mine. <sighs> Your soap smells lovely. This girl Roddy is a little bit too much into you, if you ask me, but <laughs> mind if I sit here? Why ask when you've already sat? Dang. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> He's loud compared to her. Lord, we are thankful from the bottom of our hearts for this bountiful feast. El Strain, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. El Strain! Nineteen girls. El Strain. Lord, I thank you. What's up with El Strain? It's a religion followed by everyone in town. With his undying love, we are guided and protected from evil. You didn't eat dinner last night. You must be starving. What, my egg? No. I have a small appetite. Oh, that's no good. Sure, you got curves, but I saw your ribs under your shirt earlier. The girls gotta eat. Your butt's not too big either. You don't have to change overnight, but make sure to eat, okay? Hey, I guess you wanna have a bigger butt. But you wanna have to be a little thicky. She kinda is a little thicky, but I guess she need a little bit more butt. Throwing a little rider. She would know, not me. Oh, uh, I didn't watch you shower. Or did you? like you two have met. We're meeting to do community service in town after this. Eat up, or you'll be sorry. In town? Oh. Sounds to me like you're going to sweep up around the church. You'd better work hard so you don't tarnish Wordsworth's name. Sarah! No need to be so stern with her before you've even met. Abby. <clears throat> Abigail, you go too easy on them. You are setting her up for failure, which is just going to hurt her in the long run. Very well. My, this is Sarah Putnam, one of my very best friends. She's not afraid to speak her mind, but she's kind, I promise. Hopefully you two can become friends. It's called open communication. Nice to meet you. Oh, by the way, there are some strict rules here at the dorm. No one's allowed out past the midnight curfew. The rest... You'll learn. Damn that new girl. Why is everyone fawning over her? You jelly? <sighs> so annoying. You jelly too? So if she's all buddy buddy with the RA, and you? Do you think that'll be a problem? I will be. Who cares? No one can stand in my way. Once we get into town, I'll find a nice ditch to push her into. That'll teach her. Wow. <laughs> Good one. Great idea. Maybe she'll even break a bone. Okay, everyone, please join me in putting our hands together. Many thanks for this meal. Many thanks for this meal. Gather round. It is time to commence community service. 
Wordsworth only exists thanks to the kindness and donations of our townspeople. So please show your gratitude by working hard for our community. Pair up with your roommates, everyone. Roommate? Come to think of it, I've yet to meet one. <laughs> and um, I do want to say, guys, I am not really a fan of you not getting into some action in the first 30 minutes. Even with JRPGs, I love JRPGs, but I don't like when you don't get into action. We've seen numerous games uh, get into action right out of way that are RPGs and JRPGs. I don't know why we had these slow bills still. They, I don't. I don't really like that. Especially when I'm doing videos, I tend to find when you're showing off a game like this, if it doesn't get started in the first 30 minutes, usually people tend to wait. Don't tell me. Go their way, you know. It may not even return to look at the game again. <laughs> Greetings. But the story is good, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are also here for some gameplay, some action. There will be bookmarks, and thank God we have these new bookmarks on YouTube. Okay, then, though. let's head out. Here, take these instructions. Oh, we're assigned to the church area. <sighs> now we have to take our plates away. Uh, the maids handle that, so leave them for them. Well, time for us to go visit the church. Vina, you girls will be picking up trash near the forest. What? Yeah, y'all picking up that trash in the forest. You talking about taking out trash now? You gotta do it yourself. Women's dormitory gate. This minion reminds me a little bit of uh, another minion to another game they had. I think it was. Uh, I won't say Varnelia. No, it wasn't Varnelia. Something else. Can't think of it right now. Let's go ahead and begin this next event. She never had a smartphone. Getting close quick. Dang, that was kind of mean for mine though. But. She is being nice. She saved you. You don't have to be like that. Like that. You can be kind of friendly to her. Oh, now you feel bad. You don't get it there, all men.
could be could might be terrified of men because of her father that that is definitely a, a chance that could be that way okay that ends a day I'm gonna save in And we are going to go back to the event and end the day. It's amazing. Truly, the town is built around the teachings of this church. It brings people together. There's a lot of love here. I see. I'm not a religious person. I can't say it does anything for me. Uh, I suggest you have a listen to one of the bishop's sermons sometime. El Strain is not a faith of judgment. It lifts people up in their darkest hour. I can't recommend it enough. That's so. I'll give it some thought. Okay. Hello. Doors or windows. Kind of strange. Yeah, a little bit. Some girls at Wordsworth call it the Forbidden Shed. There are all sorts of scary rumors going around. Enough. I don't buy into urban legends or stories about their cult. Ooh. Are you scared? Did I just find your weakness? What you gonna do if there are ghosts inside the shed? <laughs> Alright, there were a lot of, uh... Uh, scary stories, uh, things involved in the first one, uh, occult, mysteries, and there's a lot going around in these games, and that's a big part of what makes Death Hand Request kind of cool. Shut up, I know none are in there. I'm not afraid, I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Only kidding. Hmm. Truthfully, I think it's just an old no warehouse no one uses anymore. My, my. I was wondering where all that commotion came from. Greetings, Rotten. Oh, Bishop! Hello! Oh, you must be mine. I've gotten word that, as of yesterday, you are Wordsworth's newest resident. Yes, that's right. Hello, I'm the bishop. I serve as head of the church. I heard you had something of a rough time. I'm... I'm just relieved that you are alive. From now on, your life is here. That is enough. Survive. Sometimes all we have is a sliver of hope. But it is enough to carry us to the happiness we deserve. Let your spirit guide you to the future. I am grateful for your dignity and for God's grace. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so emotional right now. are all granted by El Strain. I admire your perseverance. Making yourself at home here can be challenging. Should you ever find yourself in trouble, my door is open. So <laughs> oh, depressing. What? Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm glad I met you too, Mai. <laughs> Thanks for being alive. alive. <laughs> It's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad at the same time. Man, you are a handful. Bishop, is there anything we could help you with? <sighs> well, 
Might I be able to ask you to assist me in acquiring a new holy neckcloth? <sighs> Headmistress Major's fabric is intricately woven. The sewing, the coloring. <sighs> I love it. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, I'll let my mother know. know. We'll keep okay. tidying up the church and head back. Okay. Thank you again. She wonderful. wonderful. She's so kind. She's like my, my second, second mom. mom. Yeah, well, she seemed warm and she wasn't a man. <laughs> it's neat to see a woman with a position of power in the church. Seems uncommon. Now, this may be too much in this very adult like talk right here, but I'm wondering if Mai's gonna gravitate. And be attracted more to women, more than men, because of her father. It seemed like the best way to go story-wise, but in El Strain, I don't even know if they'll go there. Your and your marital status don't disqualify you from working in the Holy Order. But in the past, the clergy was only comprised of men, and they're still the majority. I see. Is that why she doesn't show her face? Yep. There are still some people who judge a woman for serving as bishop. How dumb. A bishop shouldn't let critics bother her. She should be proud to show her face. Oh. Have you, Have you warmed up to her? her? How sweet. I don't need you to weigh in. It's insulting. Dang. <laughs> I'm just excited. Wouldn't you be if your friend warmed up to someone you like? <sighs> okay, okay. Let's head back. You know they make these curfews and then they're gonna break them. You just know it. <laughs> The Shirai, Sh Sh Sharara? They just said, y'all yeah, make a good pair. I'm sure mine don't like that. <laughs> Here we go again.
Big, why you want a friend that's gonna slap you? I was about to say the same thing. That's pretty much what I was saying, actually. We go. You're gonna pull out a knife and then ask her what's her problem. Dang, she fear killing more than she does dying. If, 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 if someone tell you that, you need to chill. You need to chill, okay? Don't don't mess with nobody that's gonna tell you that. Roddy's back in her, her pajamas, her PJs, her nightgown. It must be a towel. It ain't no towel. But sometimes in these games, it doesn't match up. They say these things and their picture doesn't match up to what it is. They want you to use your imagination. Devil Society? Okay. He said, "What? Well, you gonna you gonna you gonna actually dry my hair? I was I didn't think you was gonna say yes." And we got Vina mad because she didn't get a chance to stab a girl. Girl that probably would have killed her if she tried to. Should have just peed in your pants or in a bucket. <laughs> Look at how she holding herself. Oh my god, I just want to look at my controls. Because usually there is a hide button, but they, they got to remove window, backlog, skip. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. Okay. Dreaming? Yeah.
I wonder what that means. Sister Barbos is coming. What about V in the hall? How's she doing? <laughs> Yep, that's Vina. So we're gearing into an hour right now. I know you guys are wondering where is the freaking gameplay. <laughs> it's coming. There is gameplay in this game. It's not just all about this, but the RPGs are also about telling stories. They're sometimes mixed with visual novelties. Like this game is probably going to be a lot of visual novels this time around, I was told. But yeah. So it may just be starting off like this to tell you a story because I'm not gonna lie I'm getting kind of yawny over here but a gamer's got to do what a gamer's got to do especially a content creator like myself if I was probably a normal gamer I probably would have just saved it by now especially if I wasn't doing this video I would have saved it by now and played again at another time So it looks like we probably ended the first prologue or the first chapter, I'm not sure. Are they calling this a prologue or a chapter? Do we actually have gameplay now? Wow, this fog is insane. Much thicker than it is during the day. Huh? Where's Vina? Where could she have gone? Was that her screaming? Man, what is going on here? So, we got gameplay, people. An hour in, but we got gameplay. Alright, you can explore Lo Chubby. I had Lo Chubby. I Lo Chubby. I'm not sure how you, they pronounce it. Characters can sometimes be found in town, but monsters look around there as well. The monsters. Or the town. And move through the story. Okay, now I know this. I know this. These are what you call save points. I'm not sure if you can use the camps yet. Let's rest a moment. But yeah, you can use the camp, so Stop missions and chats and be like, and the like. What? This camp you can exit the shop missions, chats, and the like. What kind of translation was that? By investigating the warp stone, you can end your camp and return to town. The contents change depending on the day, so be sure to check all of them. So depending on what time it is, different things may happen at your camp. There's nothing really going on in this camp right now. You, have, you can shop. That's, that's all you can do.
We don't have any fun, so it's pointless. And in the camp. Let's head out. Why is that phone ringing? I think I went in the wrong way. Let's turn around. I didn't know it was the wrong way. You gotta head toward it, little estimation mark. Interesting little camera. Press circle just to go out of there. You use this PC to hack into and control the security cameras in the dungeon. attention to your pay very close attention to your map basically there's a treasure down here and a box I'll take this I'll examine this you press an X for my actions. Bro, what's that coming out your other eye? What is it? Ah! Watch out. Now, I would ask where she get the uh, the big old sword from, but I'm not. Here I go. So you got a triax system. I just want three moves in one turn. This was in the other game where you can you can either do auto or you could choose how you want to attack. You can pick three things and even guard in the end if you want. It's funny, just like I said, pinball wizard. <laughs> He's a pinball wizard, because it's kind of like pin. Uh, like I said, like pinball, where you cannot 
the opponents into anything. They call it the knockback system. As you can see, a knockback occurs when you blast away monsters after you attack. You can bounce monsters using the knockback on the, on the battlefield walls and other monsters. Attack three times and use skills with knockback to initiate it. You defeat an enemy monster with damage greater than the monster HP. You obtain bonus XP. More damage will earn you more XP. That's cool. We won. Let's hurry onwards. Level up. And Mai's now level two. Of course, when you unlock other characters, there'll be different types of skill sets to use. Also, each character will have their own extra skills to unlock as you level up, of course. Okay. Tiny green creature that was following her. <laughs> That's two on one. You ran. That's a good idea. It's Vina. Why? Why is this happening to me? It's called karma. It's real. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Oh my God. What happened to him? Ah! for her mama. <laughs> I have to hide. She hadn't slept. Thank you. What happened to Vina? What happened to Vina? How's Vina? Yeah, maybe you did abandon her. <laughs> so, 
the question is at this point what's happened to Vina? where is this gonna lead what was that thing in the hallway is it a connection between that thing and Sine? those are the questions in the story that must be asked the gameplay even though I only had a little pinch of gameplay in this hour long video seemed similar to what it was before a redefined type of HUD system a little bit more legible not really scattered about I, I felt like last time it was a little scattered about the control system um, the layout kind of like the way it's laid out in this game but that's pretty much my first impressions I like it it's interesting I'm, an, I'm loving the new characters I'm a fan of Maya already I'm rooting for her I'm thinking that Vina got what she deserved in a way but at the same way no one deserved to be had to go through something like that that tragic uh, I probably will try to play another editions of, of this in the next couple of weeks I can show up to chapter 3 after chapter 3 I cannot show anymore now until it's released but I really don't do walkthroughs on this channel but if you guys showed huge amounts of support for it I will definitely do a full walkthrough of this game even though I haven't finished the first one yet also, if you'd like me to play the other one or want to see some gameplay from the other one, let me know and I will update load that as well. So with that being said, it is my lunchtime right now at the time of this recording. I'm about to go get me something to eat because a brother hungry. Alright, so with that being said, I'll see you guys next show, next video. Remember, definitely Request 2 is coming out very soon. Got Endergamer.com to get more details on that. Also, if you want to check out the first game, that's available there and here on the channel. Yeah. Once again, I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace.